Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. Thanks for joining me today for the YouTube Mom Weekly Rundown. Recently, Brittany Born Leach was doing a Q&A over on Instagram, and a viewer asked, do you think you will ever come back to YouTube? I miss your home tours, decorating, and DIY videos. Brittany said, as of right now, no, maybe one day. That desire will return, but YouTube is much different than it used to be, and the excitement I once had for it is not there anymore. And I'll just add in my opinion here. Brittany has found that she can make more money on Instagram for less work. It's a lot easier to do Instagram and monetize your work over there than YouTube. Another question from a viewer. If you aren't going back to YouTube, does that mean you won't have a birth vlog? And Brittany said, not sure yet. I would definitely make the exception just so I can have the video to look back on. I guess we'll see when the time comes. She answered these questions back to back on Instagram too. That's the funny part. She's being hypocritical here. She's been saying that she doesn't like YouTube. She doesn't have the same motivation to do it anymore. She's been saying that for a while now. But then when someone asks about the birth vlog, and a birth vlog is the money maker for a YouTube mom. But suddenly, she doesn't know if she's going to do YouTube anymore when someone asks about a birth vlog. And no, she would not be putting it up just for memories. Because you don't have to make a video, put it on YouTube, and monetize it for a memory. You put a birth vlog up and monetize it on YouTube because you want to make money. If you want a memory of your birth, just record it and save the video to your phone. Or put it on YouTube and just keep it private for yourself. That's the thing about YouTubers. They can't just answer the question honestly. You can't honestly sit here and tell me that you put videos up on YouTube for the memories. Then why do you monetize it? You don't have to monetize it then. If, if the money is not what you want, why do you monetize the video? Come on, guys. Recently, Sunkiss Mama put out a video that's identical to Jess Fam's most viewed video ever on her channel. This comment was left on Sunkiss Mama's video. Isn't there a Jess Fam video that's her most viewed with this exact same title and thumbnail? It's getting weird. I'm not showing these thumbnails because their breast is hanging out and they're breastfeeding. So I won't be showing these thumbnails in my video, but Sunkiss Mama's title is, I was forced to do this. And Jess Fam's title is, I had to do this. And both thumbnails show you know, their shirt pulled down, breastfeeding their babies. In Sunkiss Mama's video, Jess is filming for her. It seems staged. It seems like they talked about this before they pulled out the camera and they wanted this scene in their video because a title and thumbnail that has anything to do with breastfeeding always gets a lot of views. So when they say they don't use their kids for content, it's just not true. There's proof right there. You used this child for content. I was just thinking about videos to do. And this one, I was like, would be a good one. Because if you have been following me, you know I struggle finding like good Amazon fashion. I think a lot of it is just not worth even your $20 like at all. Um, but a lot of people love it. So I figured I would ask you guys to send me in your favorite Amazon item, like your favorite fashion item. It could be accessories, clothing item, um, but keep it like fashion. And I could try them out for a video and we can see. <laughs> This is so interesting to me because an influencer, they want to promote products, but they don't want to find the products. They want you to tell them the good products and then they want to promote them. They want you to do the work for them and they want to promote the products. I understand kind of what she's saying here. She's saying, I've tried to look for things on Amazon. I can't find anything good, but I know you guys like it. So send me what you like and then I'll promote it. It just seems ass backwards to me. It just does. I couldn't even say that sentence without laughing. But I will give her a little bit of props here. At least she's saying she will order the stuff for her video. Rather than just send me your favorite links and then I'll link them for everybody else. I say purchase, but she probably gets an Amazon credit every month like Tiffany Beeston does. I don't know that for a fact. I'm assuming that because Amazon fashion influencers get a credit every month. So she's just probably using that credit to buy these things and then she will make so much money off of these affiliate links. I heard an influencer say the other day, oh, we only make pennies off of affiliate links. They make it sound like they make nothing off of affiliate links. I'm sorry, but if I made pennies off of something, I would not waste my time doing it. I just wouldn't. 
because they have a lot of followers. And if a lot of followers buy those things, they're making money. If you take the pennies they're making and times it by a thousand or 2000 people that use their affiliate link, that adds up and that's not making pennies. I do think they downplay affiliate marketing just a little bit to you guys. Next, I wanna cover a family channel that I've never covered before, the McLeod family. A viewer sent me this clip the clip has been zoomed in a little bit. She said she wasn't sure how that happened, but we can still make out what the mom says. I just got a call from the school. Eli just had his first seizure. He had a seizure at school. Um, I'm really, really worried. So we could use your prayers, good vibes, good thoughts. Every she just got a call from the school saying her son had a seizure and she grabs her phone to record herself before going to get her child. All for content. Holy crap, what is happening here? I'm sure he's in good hands at school. He has his teachers, the ambulance is there, but I would be flying out of my freaking house like a bat out of hell. But the fact that family vloggers always pick up the camera in moments like this is disturbing. This is wrong on so many levels. Your child's life should not be used for content, especially their medical condition medical scares, and the fact that you get a call like this from your son's school and the first thing you do is grab your phone because you've got to get content. <sighs> what is happening on YouTube? Seriously. She made a YouTube short a few days ago about YouTube removing her videos without a valid reason. So something is up with her channel, I feel like. YouTube is definitely checking out her content. She also made a TikTok and a YouTube short about her disabled son being rushed to the hospital. She made sure to put this story out on every public social media platform she has. A few weeks ago, I covered Lynn White in a weekly rundown video, and I gave my opinion on a picture that she posted of her infant online. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will link the video in the description box. You can check it out after you finish this video. But Lynn responded on my video. She left a comment, and then I also saw her post this on Instagram. What? That's my error. I would never in a million years try to exploit my kids. That is one of the reasons why I don't watch certain people and that's one of the reasons why I don't have my kids a lot, like a lot on my like in blog. I'm not cutting her off at this point. This is where her clip ended. That's all she had to say about it. I always share my opinion on my channel, but I definitely don't mind sharing their reaction or some of their opinions either. I don't care. I don't have a big ego. I don't think everyone should think like me. I don't think everyone should agree with me. I don't demand people to like stand in line behind me and only leave comments that I agree with. I don't do any of that. So if you have an opinion that is not in line with mine, that's cool. That's really cool. It does not bother me at all. I can't imagine being a YouTuber and having to screen every comment because you're so worried something's going to slip through that you don't agree with or that like might hurt your ego or something. <laughs> don't we know a few of those YouTubers? Yeah, I don't, I just don't do that. There are a few comments I will delete. If you bully, harass, or threaten anyone, I will definitely delete your comment. I had a viewer threaten to punch another viewer one time in my comment section. I had to get rid of all of that. And any comments left about minors will definitely be deleted. Next, I want to talk about an Instagram mom I've never talked about before, but this video is alarming that she posted of her child. Why you take a picture every single morning? Can't you stop taking pictures of me? <laughs> this little kid is saying, you take pictures of me every morning. Can you stop taking pictures? And the mom laughs about it. Not only does she laugh about it, but she puts it on social media as content and presents this to her audience as entertainment. And this is not entertainment. This is your child using his words to say, stop, I don't like this, but she does it anyways. Kids being used for content like this is disturbing. You guys know the tap to clean stories that influencers post on Instagram sometimes. They'll show a picture of their messy room and say tap to clean, and then you tap to the next slide and magically the room is clean. Do you think those are true? Do you think those are authentic? Or do you think they just push all the mess out of frame and take a picture just for content? Kristen Casper did this on Instagram. Tap to put the clothes away. Then you tap everything 
is put away. Everything looks so nice and clean, right? A little while later, she posted this picture to Instagram and she wrote, I in fact did not hang up these tops earlier when I said tap to put away, but I did put everything else away, LOL. I'm showing this to you guys because I want you to see how easy it is for an influencer or a YouTuber to fake things. <laughs> They can fake so much and make you think like they're doing so much, make you think certain things are happening in their day, but it's not really happening. I'm not saying every tap to clean is fake because I'm sure some people do clean the room and then take a picture and post it, but some are definitely fake. And so you have to remember when you're watching social media, just watch it as entertainment because that's what it is. This message is from a viewer. Apparently there was some kind of glitch slash error in Cambria's account that temporarily messed up her monetization. Knowing her character, it seems like it's on YouTube's end and not hers. And she's been cooperative with them. And even though she isn't monetized on her videos at the moment, she is still continuing to put out content. She said, you show up for me every single week and I want to be able to still show up for you. She said it right there, that she's just not in it for the money. This is great. So let's watch this clip and see what she has to say. If you saw a video a couple weeks back, I am currently not monetized on my channel. There was an error with YouTube and I can't be monetized for another two weeks. This is so ridiculous. I think YouTube demonetizes the most unproblematic channels on their platform and they don't demonetize the problematic channels on the platform. I don't even know how that happens. And then I can try and fix this error. Um, but the idea that you guys even think of my financial situation and everything, like you guys are literally the best subscribers. And that right there is exactly why I have not taken a break during this time where I'm not monetized because I don't follow her content, so I don't know her as well as I know some of the other YouTube moms, but based on the comments that I get about her channel all the time, some of you guys really like her. You think she has good intentions. You enjoy her content. So based on the feedback that I've received about her, I believe what she's saying here. I believe she's continuing to show up because you guys show up for her. But I also wanna add in, you can't just abandon your channel. That wouldn't be good. You have to keep posting. If you just stop posting completely, that's gonna hurt your spot in the algorithm. So while I do think she's still showing up for her viewers, I also think that she knows it's smart to keep posting as well. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because you guys show up for me every single week. And I appreciate that so, so much. And I wanted to be able to still show up for you. Like you guys are there for me every week. And even in this time where I may not be monetized and making money, I'm still going to show up for you because you guys are literally the best followers. Whenever I cover a YouTuber, I like to go watch their most recent video. So I just watched her remodel her sister's kitchen. And then I noticed that she has another YouTube channel. She doesn't post on it, but it's called Mastering YouTube. And she talks about her RPM, her CPM, how much money she makes. All of that is so interesting to me. I watched the video where she was talking about how much money she makes on YouTube. And there are so many factors that go into what someone makes on YouTube. There's no way that I could figure that exactly to the dollar. She said one of her videos hit a million views and she made just over $5,000. So basically she was making around $5.55 per thousand views. That's actually kind of low in my opinion. So if you're ever wondering what some of these channels make, there you go. She was making $5.55 per thousand views. Everybody doesn't make $5.55 per thousand views. It depends on your niche. It depends on where you are, where your viewers are. So many things go into it, but I thought that was interesting. So I wanted to share. In her most recent video that I just watched, she didn't mention anything about still being demonetized. So hopefully she's gotten that cleared up. Recently, I covered Crazy Cleaning Mama for putting up a paywall. I will link that video in the description box if you wanna check it out. But she was doing a QA and a on Instagram. A viewer said, did you see you made the gossip channels, LOL. And she said, no, but I appreciate the support. Her response made me laugh. I mean, she's being a little bit of a smart ass here, but she's also a little right. When we talk about YouTubers, some of our viewers will go check out the channel. Sometimes they stay and subscribe, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just stay to hate watch. <laughs> but who cares? I don't tell my viewers what to do with their social media currency.
Thanks for watching the weekly rundown. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok at YouTuber Headlines. Remember, I post new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.